Uh, hi, uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Dr. Michael Stevens. I'm a family practitioner in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And I have with me today Dr. Tom Sherman. He's a gastroenterologist serving in the Exeter and Portsmouth areas. And uh, we're going to be talking about colon cancer screening. This is something that uh, everyone has been thinking about, talking about, especially once we get around age 50. And so uh, we'll get right into it with Tom and ask a few questions. Tom, uh, why should people uh, have colon cancer screening? Well, that's a great question, and a lot of people, they wince when you mention it. You know, I, I started CORE Gastroenterology about 10 years ago, and you've been with CORE uh, Family Practice for a while, and we've seen this, this whole area in the Seacoast region really has a huge need for adequate, sc adequate screening. So you say, why? Uh, when you think about um, screening for colon cancer, remember colon cancer is the third most common cancer in the United States, the fourth leading cause of cancer death. So why should I get screened? Well, number one, colon cancer doesn't hurt. And in many people, the first sign that they have colon cancer is bleeding. And by that time, this is a much more, uh, this, these are larger lesions, they are more advanced cancers. So when you look at national data on how people do with screening, you're looking at a 60 to 80 percent reduction in risk of death from colon cancer. You're seeing a risk of actually developing colon cancer because this is about prevention. Right. And so that benefit in something that is painless with no symptoms until it might be advanced, you have to do screening because that's the only way you're going to catch it at a stage when it's preventable or curable. Yeah, that's what I tell my patients. If we wait till there's symptoms, the cat's out of the bag, horse is out of yeah. the barn, and it's already a Absolutely. big deal. Absolutely, yeah. And we don't want to wait till then. So we start screening typically at age 50. Uh, tell me uh, some of the exceptions to that rule. One of the more alarming statistics we're seeing is that we're seeing colon cancer in younger people. The tip off, again, going back to what are the symptoms of actually having colon cancer. Well, the tip-off at any age now is bleeding. Mm -hmm. Any bleeding from the rectum should end up with a colonoscopy. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's a tip-off for an earlier one. The other tip-off for an earlier one is are, are things that predict that you could have a higher risk of colon cancer than somebody in, uh, at average age or average risk in the population. That would be a family member uh, first degree relative, which means mom, dad, siblings um, um, with colon cancer. Um, uh, more than uh, two, actually two or more second degree relatives, that's aunts, uncles who have colon cancer or advanced polyps. Mm -hmm. These all get you down to starting your screening somewhere around age 40 or if your parents were in their 40s when they were diagnosed, 10 years before they were diagnosed. So it may be as early as in your 30s mm -hmm. that you might need to start your colon cancer screening. Absolutely. And I think that's really important. I, tell, I always tell my patients in their 20s and 30s, if you get some uh, blood peroctum, don't just assume that right. this is a hemorrhoid. It most likely is, but if we assume that and it's not, then there's some significant consequences and we can be sorry for it. Right. So, uh, what are the, uh, some of the alternatives for doing a colonoscopy? There are essentially four accepted screening mechanisms, and um, the top two are colonoscopy, uh, the benefit of which is if it's negative and you're at average risk, you don't have to screen for another 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people like that. Um, the second one is called a FIT test. Uh, it's a stool study. It's easy to do, it's non-invasive, but if it's negative, then you have to have it done every year. The third one is called Cologuard. Uh, it's a combination of a FIT test plus a DNA test, and that's every three years if it's negative. Mm -hmm. And um, the uh, last one that is an acceptable one is doing a CT-guided colonoscopy. It's not really a colonoscopy. It reproduces the colon on a CAT scanner. Again, it's the biggest drawback there is that you have to do the prep just like a colonoscopy and there's radiation exposure from, from the CAT scanner. Mm -hmm. So we typically don't recommend that. 
but that would be an every five year mm -hmm. uh, test. And many of us think of colon cancer not as completely preventable, mm -hmm. but with screening we can bring down the numbers of people suffering from this uh, and dying from it every year both in New Hampshire and across the country. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Thank you for the time. Thank you for your help.